Hello, Leo. This is your bonus reading for January 2020. I did promise you one. And it may take off from that last energy we did. We may get a whole different energy, you know. Some of you are dealing with the Three of Swords energy. But I need a five-card spread for Leo for a bonus reading, and I will give you a love reading at the end also. But new energies, hopefully positive energies for Leo for January 2020. Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And you know this may not be positive or may be a positive reading, but we don't get one, we work through it. And this will not resonate with all Leos out there. Okay? Let's see what's going on. Six of Cups. Memories from the past. Dealing with things from the past. Maybe brothers, sisters, lovers. It doesn't matter. It's in reverse, so it could be that you maybe are wanting something from the past or you got bad memories. We'll find out. Past position is the Sun card. Now, I feel 100. You, well, the Sun card in the past, you were happy at one time. You know, it wasn't all, you know, gloom and doom. It sure wasn't. But the obstacle is the Hierophant. Maybe uh, religious leaders, maybe conformity, society in itself. Maybe you feel like you don't jive for whatever is expected with you, you know, from you, from other people. You like to put something to rest with the death card in reverse. You want to put something to rest or you may be trying to resurrect it. I got to find out. We will clarify. What is coming towards you is a six of wands, a victory. In the end, you can come out of a, a nightmare situation. You come out of that, okay? So we're going to find out what's going on because it's not telling us a whole lot, but it, it is. But, you know, you were happy in the past, you know, with the Sun card, even though you were dealing with that Six of Cups, you know, that wh whoever you were dealing with in the past could have to do with someone that, you know, a marriage, maybe, maybe someone that you were attached to in some way had a, you know, like a contract with. Could be a marriage, like I said, but also it could be anything else, like like I said, something that's status quo in society that everybody expects you to abide by. But we got to go back. The Sun card. I need two cards for Leo for the Sun card. It is your own card, you know, your own energy. But I need two cards for clarification. Like I said, we'll do a love reading too. There's that moon. I think it was in the last thing. Something comes out with the moon. You find out something, and you come out of feeling not so bad, an abandonment. You come out of feeling neglected. Something comes out, and you're kind of happy about it. Maybe you heard about this past situation that they gave you um, a right to be happy. Like, aha, see, I was right. And you're happy about with something that comes out. And, you know, because I know I've seen that moon where secrets were there and stuff like that. But in this reading, in the past position, because remember, we're going from now, you know, in the past, this, you know, you're happy with whatever you heard. You're not feeling so bad now. Could have to do with the Hierophant. I don't know. We need two cards for the Hierophant. What is considered, you know, like I said, like uh, conformity in some way. But I need two cards, please. Could have been someone you're in a relationship with, too. Sometimes when I see the Hierophant, it's like someone goes before them in a marriage. So it could be a marriage contract. So I need two cards for the Hierophant, please, in the obstacle position. It doesn't have to be a marriage. It could be just someone you were attached to or with. Ace of Wands, Energy, Page of Cups. You may get a message from that, this person. It could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But it also could be emotional messages. And they may come in to you. And you may think, well, I really don't feel that way about you anymore. You know, or I don't know if I want to take that step. You know? Or maybe some of you are wanting this offer, but I don't know. You may want this person to call you, but you feel like the energy isn't there or you don't know if you can deal with it because you're, it's like you've become happier since um, something ended in some way. But I do see like a something of a little bit of a resurrection, you know, with the death card in reverse. So let's find out. Maybe you hear something about some, someone you ended something with. So the death card in reverse, I need two cards for Leo. Two cards for Leo, please, as the current environment for, you know. Yeah, you're happy about something you hear about. Something that chained you before that made you feel trapped. Someone may contact you. It could be the past person or, like I said, you'll hear about something about them and make you feel better. 
where before you were trapped and bound, something from the past resurrects information at least, or a person. Now, you gain a victory outside environment coming towards you. You gain a victory over this. So you're finally winning something out. Maybe you felt like you were the loser before. So the Six of Wands in the upright, I need two cards for Leo as the outside environment, please. You had collaboration, you get a victory over a manipulative situation. You gain a victory over manipulative situations and devious type people and or events. And you start working with situations again. You start feeling better. You start being able to get out there, maybe even work more. Some of you may want to work with this manipulative person or you may try to reach out. Not necessarily to let them back in, but just to find out more information. I don't know why I'm feeling that, but I am. But you're getting a victory over a manipulative situation. In the end, you come out of nightmares. You come out of sleepless nights. <clears throat> so, Nine of Swords in reverse. I need two cards for Leo. You know, you come out of anxiety. Nine of Swords, please. In reverse. Two cards. And you want that in reverse. Yep. You are definitely coming out of something. You, you may hear about something or... Someone may tell you something when, you know, when the download, you know, whisper it to you with the nine of wands. It's like a communication type energy, but it's more chaotic and it may come to a halt actually. But it could be that you stop talking to this person or wanting to talk to this person or to be with this person. This knight of swords energy, it could be an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. But it could be, like I said, you're coming out of a nightmare situation. It has to do with communications with this knight. I do see you getting a victory over manipulative situations. I see you becoming more happy, maybe about the things you hear that made you feel trapped before. It could be that someone may offer you a relationship like contract again, but you don't know if you're feeling it, you know, um, or, you know, vice versa. I do see you just becoming more happier. We got the sun card twice. You're feeling lighthearted more. You're, you're not feeling down and out. And you know you have better options where people you can work with also. You do let your swords down your boundaries a bit. Maybe you had your swords up with everybody around you. Maybe because, you know, like I said, you had that nine of swords there before. It must have been in an upright before or wouldn't be there at all. But now it's it's going in reverse where someone is feeling like they don't, they're not having anxiety. So before that could become reverse, it had to have been upright before. So it looks like you're putting your swords down. You're seeing things clearly now. Things are becoming better. Your life is becoming better. And you're not, I don't see you worried about these past people anymore. <clears throat> Where before you may have felt abandoned and left out. I don't know why that keeps keep on getting this off. But this is your reading. And I'm going to give you a love reading right now. Let me clear this up and I'll be right back. Hello, Leo. This is your love reading, the bonus reading for January 2020. I need to know more information for Leo Summon and Rising for romance. What do they need to know about romance? Hopefully we get a different <clears throat> energy altogether for Leo. Three cards, please, for Leo from the Angel Romance cards. Let's see what's going on with you. <clears throat> maybe something good, maybe something positive. I need to get a drink of water. Oh, let me get a drink of water. <clears throat> I hate when my voice starts to go. Happens only when I'm reading cards. Nah, happens all the time. I need three cards. Oh, we already did this one. Three cards from the Angel Answers. Okay. This will give us more information on love. The angels will give you more information, give you advice maybe. <clears throat> For Leo, Ooh, that wants to come out. New opportunities possibly coming in. Leo, Leo's always have, have new opportunities coming in, but I need three cards from the Angel Answers for Leo, January 20th, 2020. Why did I just say that? We are having a um, conjunction of Saturn and Pluto on January 20th. That's interesting. But I need three cards from the Angel Answers, please. New opportunities will arise in love, I promise. You always have opportunities. Leo can take anybody they want. They really can. But it's like they're kind of happy about something they hear about. Someone they've known from the past they had a relationship with. I do feel that. 
Okay, three cards from the Psychic Tarot to give us more information on Leo's li love life for January 20th. Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. More information for Leo. Okay, let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on for Leo. It says release your ex, and it looks like you pretty much are. Trust yourself. Trust in what you need to do next, okay? Go forward. Trust that there'll be other people in your life also, and you're gonna you're gonna have partnerships and alliances in the future. So that gives us more information. You have different things in the future that you know you'll probably like more, more of a collaboration. Make more of an effort, and I'm thinking is to move forward, to go forward again. It looks like you are, but make more effort, and you know, and taking the steps that you need to to find love in your life. Ask help from others. Ask advice from others. What you know, they what they think you should do and how you should proceed, because it does show you moving on from something in a positive sense, moving on from troubled waters. Now, and this one says, stay optimistic about your love life. You know, don't don't get all down and out. Don't stop where you're at. Don't don't become the hermit. Don't become you know the hangman where you don't move. Don't become stagnant. And fina financial material gain or changes are coming in for you. Don't worry about um, not having enough, not having things come in, because they will. You know, you may have to um, compete a little or go for something. But, you know, your material and financial changes will come, whether for the good or for the better. But I see it as a positive thing coming in. I see partnerships and alliances coming in if you get the if you bring all these together trust in yourself trust in the future and release the people that were not there for you make an effort to move forward again ask help from others if you're having trouble but you will move on from troubled waters stay optimistic don't stop where you're at even if you know you have to uh Compete with other people or go forward with the financial material changes that are coming. Remember, there's always help with this card also. And I see that with um, partnerships and alliances and, and um, help from other people. So realize there are people that are going to help you. If you feel like you, you don't have enough, they are there for you. Stay optimistic. Make an effort to move on and move forward. Uh, release of old people from your life, which I believe think you're doing, and um, don't stop here because better things are always in, in you know in sight for Leo. And I'm gonna let this go, and I will talk to you later. Bye.